Hi guys, this is going to be the love reading for Aquarius for the month of December. What messages for Aquarius for love when it comes to December? I'm getting the Hermit card but in reverse. I'm getting disappointment, Five of Cups in reverse. What are the messages for Aquarius when it comes to love during December? So... I'm getting Inventor, Man of Crystals in reverse. I'm getting Rewards, Ten of Worlds in reverse. I'm getting Equilibrium, Two of Cups in reverse. What else? What are the other messages for Aquarius when it comes to love during December? What messages for Aquarius when it comes to love during December? I'm getting uh, nine of worlds harvest in this um, in reverse. Okay. What are the messages for Aquarius when it comes to love during December? I'm getting illumination, ace of wands. Okay. What are the messages for Aquarius for love? In December okay one card just flew off I'm just gonna get that uh, I'm getting logic and I'm gonna get the other cards and come back I'm getting the strength card you know um, let's look at some more cards and then I'm gonna start the interpretation what messages for Aquarius when it comes to love during December I'm getting Three of Cups, love in reverse. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. So, I feel like <clears throat> Aquarius, for a lot of you, you were in hermit mode for a very long time. Um, you were sort of closed off to the idea of love. You didn't want to entertain that, maybe because you wanted to focus on yourself for a very long time. So, you kind of went within yourself. You may have isolated yourself. Uh, for a very long time but it was all for a good cause because you were trying to find yourself find yourself within you were tapping into your ancestral wisdom ancient wisdom uh, you were going deep within yourself resolving past trauma you know things that you've been through and it has been a very very spiritual growth for you Aquarius I'm also getting, you know, the disappointment card, uh, five of cups in reverse. So for a long time, a lot of you Aquarius, you had gone through a tough time. You had faced a rough patch where you, maybe people came forward with the idea of love. Um, maybe there were these people in your life who presented a rose to you because I do see the rose here. They presented the rose to you like this um, this hope of love to to you in front of you but somehow it always resulted in disappointment it was never it was never what they promised uh, it to be it was very different so it was always a shadow of what they promised you know it never lived it never lived up to its potential it never lived up to what they said right so, but I'm getting this in reverse now, which tells me that um, now it's somehow shifting, that energy is shifting where, uh, and I'm going to clarify that in a little bit, but I do feel that energy shifting where it's not going to be about disappointments in love anymore. Uh, because I did get, um, uh, I did get the love card in this reading. Uh, I'm also getting Inventor, a man of crystals. So this is about you using your natural Uranian Aquarius energies, you know, this month. You are ruled by Uranus Aquarius, which is about technology, which is about vision, which is about futuristic thinking. And now, you know, as the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in Aquarius has happened, we have moved into a new stage where Aquarian energy is very prominent in our lives, you know. So this is about you really coming into your Aquarius energy, 
looking at ways to bring more innovation into your life, into the people around you, into the world around you. Uh, you may be going through a period of learning right now, like you may be studying a lot of books around subjects that interest you. Maybe this has to do with science, maybe this has to do with technology subjects, but you are studying a lot right now. Maybe you're conducting some experiments, some scientific experiments, um, but this is very much getting you into your own element, which is about discovery, which is about um, using technology to help human beings, humanity, because your Aquarius is a humanitarian sign. So you are really coming into that energy right now. I'm also seeing the Ten of Worlds, the reward card, but it's in reverse. So the abundance that you're seeking, um, it'll take some time to manifest. It's not going to happen immediately. But I do see uh, the prospect of romance here again, because there is a couple here holding hands on the beach. So uh, there is the possibility of love, but you're just going to have to hold on to your horses a little bit longer and just wait a little longer because... Right now, you're not in an equilibrium, Aquarius. The Two of Cups in reverse speaks to a misalignment in energies within yourself. So there is some kind of balance that you still need to achieve in your life. And this tells me a lot of this has to do with balancing your emotions and, you know, the manifestation part of you. Because traditionally, uh, Aquarius was ruled by Saturn, you know, and Saturn is about delays and restrictions. So I feel like um, for a lot of you, Aquarius, um, you may have had trouble dealing with your emotions. Aquarius is not known to be very emotional. They are more logical. It's, a, it's an air sign. It's more cerebral. So for a lot of you, it, it has been a struggle, um, you know, facing your emotions, dealing with your emotions. But I feel that's where the fertility comes in that's where the abundance comes in because once you have started feeling your feelings so to speak once you are facing your emotions and feelings you are slowly starting to manifest the abundance that you seek uh, i'm also seeing you know the yellow flowers here which speaks to the solar plexus because solar plexus is yellow you know and that has to do a lot to do with self-esteem um our sense of ego. Now, a lot of people look down that, oh, you should not be egocentric and things like that. But a healthy ego is essential, you know. Um, you do need a healthy sense of self, which is what the ego is. And um, I feel like somewhere along the way, your solar plexus may be a little bit weak. Uh, you may be having some issues around self-esteem or your place in the world. Um, basically, your sense of self. Um, again, I get the Nine of Worlds, which is the Harvest card. That's in reverse right now. So the fruits of your success, they are on the way, Aquarius. Don't get me wrong. You are getting the abundance that you seek, whether that's love, whether that's financial abundance. Because as, as I said, I did see that picture of a couple on a beach, you know, holding hands. So this is the possibility of love coming your way. But that's in reverse right now. Even the harvest card is in reverse right now, which tells me that this is not the time to um, expect abundance right away because you are still, uh, you know, very much in the work in progress stage. You still have a lot of realignment to do. You are out of equilibrium right now, Aquarius. A lot of it has to do with facing your emotions, like I said. And once you reach that moment of truth, this is the illumination card. Once you reach that moment of truth, that final clarity, whatever that is because it's going to apply differently to everybody you know everybody's uh, sense of illumination and truth is different so once you reach that stage then you're going to operate from a place of logic but this place of logic is not going to be how it used to be before Aquarius because earlier you were purely driven by logic perhaps but now this is also speaking to the strength card which has a lot to do with emotional strength and emotional power standing in your feelings and being strong in them and this is also you know speaking to Leo energy so maybe somebody with strong Leo energy is coming into your life this card also speaks to wisdom so you know once you align your emotional 
energies within yourself and once you start feeling your feelings then you're going to come into a place of strength and logic you're going to be able to combine the two beautifully and that's where the true power is i'm getting the love card in reverse right now but like i said this is going to open up once you do this alignment within yourself uh, and like i said this new person who's coming into your life will most likely be a leo person they could be a leo sun sign moon sign venus rising or mars it depends but uh, yeah, that's the reading for Aquarius for love for the month of December. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and post a comment in the comment box below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.